This is going to be a video product review of the Lysol Advanced Power. Now, I like, I believe I like the works. I've done other videos on these uh, cleaners before. This toilet is absolutely filthy, and that's why this is a really good test. All of this over here is completely dried up. I can't really show it to you too well. All in the bottom. This has already been cleaned. Check out my channel. I did a video a couple weeks ago where I used some cleaner and I used a sponge, and this is just all caked in there. So there's no way that this is coming out. Um, to drain your toilet, use something that's glass. It's very easy to disinfect and clean after you're uh, done draining the water. This will help you out a little bit. Um, normally, I use a sponge, but it just takes forever to get most of that water out. So, uh, what I found is that the works, well, again, check my channel and do that thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment, and affiliate links in the video description and donation links and all the stuff nobody cares about. But I've done a whole bunch of videos on cleaning the toilet, and I find that I don't know if I like the Lysol as much. That's what I'm going to be using now, but we're going to test it out and see how it does. I like the works toilet cleaner toilet bowl cleaner, and I did one with Lime Away, and it really did. I was surprised how well it did, the Lime Away toilet bowl cleaner. So right now, by using this little container, this has saved me easily five minutes. And then normally I would take the sponge, and I would go in there, and I would drain it in the bathtub. But I think this way is a little bit easier. I don't have to four, so five, six so I didn't have to go over to the bathtub and let all the water run on the floor and then I have to wipe it up so this is a lot easier to do and it will be much easier <coughs> to disinfect since it's glass put it in the sink a little bit of bleach so what I'm going to do with this Lysol advanced deep cleaning power Toilet bowl cleaner. I'm just gonna drain. You have to. You don't have to. You're supposed to drain all the water. And when you do that, you're letting all the sewer gases. <coughs> sorry, you're letting all the sewer gases come up through the toilet drain. So you don't want to leave that overnight, because you're just letting gases come into your house. So that's the whole point of having water in the toilet. The way it's designed, so gases don't come from the sewer line into the house. But right now over here, this is all cake. This is lime. These are lime deposits and who knows what else this junk is. Um, you want to get all the water out of the bottom so that the cleaner can do its magic. And if it's diluted with the water, then it's not going to be able to do... It will be able to clean, but it's not going to be able to do what it really needs to do. So you totally want all the got to put that totally in to get that valley sound. You want all the water out of the bowl all the way to... See, the reason I'm, go I'm doing that now is because the sewer gases are coming up. And I really should have a facial shield on because when this water splashes on your face and into your mouth... Oh, oh my God, does this smell... Um, when this goes into your mouth and on your face... That's when you get sick for a couple days. And this is really bad. And my arm is killing me right now from doing all of this. I'm not going to shut off the camera because I don't want to get all of this on the camera from my hands. So you are going to have to drain everything. Um, we're almost done. And then I'm going to put the stuff some people say put it in the tank. No, don't put it in the tank. You don't want to do that. You've got rubber pieces and plastic pieces in the tank. And you're dealing with chemicals here. And they can ruin the rubber and the plastic. You can see how clean this water is. It's just wonderful. The rubber and plastic will get ruined. And then you're going to have uh, either a leak in the house or you're going to have to replace that stuff. So don't do that. Um, we're almost done. And I know that other people will say put it in the 
tank so it cleans out the water spouts. You know, if your toilet is clogged up that bad that the water spouts are all, the water uh, drain things are all plugged up, you'll spend a couple hundred dollars buying a new toilet and pay a plumber a hundred bucks to put it in and you'll be done. Okay, so this is completely drained right now. My hands are absolutely grossed out. This this is all dried. This is all, this is a little slimy, but this is all dried and caked on lime deposits all the way up and the drain absolutely stinks. Let me go wash my hands. I don't know why. This stuff costs about a dollar a bottle, maybe a couple of dollars a bottle. So, just use the whole bottle. Don't go cheap on it. You really don't want to store this in your house. Ooh, pop. Okay, so we're going to go pour this all over the place. See, it's a thick gel. You want to shoot it up. Try to get it into... Oh, does this stink? Unbelievable. Yikes. And so you really want to get it all the way up in there. You want to try to get it into a little water filled hole. I've only used about half the thing. I just got this on my finger. Hold on, I gotta wash it off. This is very acidic and dangerous. I should have gloves on. This can burn your skin. You gotta be careful. This is what they use to clean. <laughs> this is what's used in a swimming pool, so you got to be really careful. You really should have air circulating in the room. You don't want to close the room and then come back in because this stuff might go right into your lungs. I'm going to put on a fan. I don't have a window in here. I'm going to keep this thing soaking for about 15 minutes. I'm going to come back. And then I'm going to flush it, so we're going to see what it does, and then I'm going to use the brush. Uh, again, once you've got the water drain and this stuff is in there, don't put your hands in there with, uh, without gloves. And, he, and some gloves might just melt with this stuff. So be extremely careful. I would suggest not using a brush afterwards, because if this stuff sprays with a brush, a brush usually splatters things around. You don't want the splattering around the room um, and hitting you on your skin. So. Uh, you can already tell it looks much better. It's dissolving that stuff. It's breaking down the lime. I don't think it's going to do all of it. You hear the water in the drain? You hear it just bubble? It's filling up a little bit from the liquid I put in there plus the sore. You can see the vibration of the uh, building and the sore line. Okay. So I'll be back. Normally I would do like five minutes because I'm really impatient, but I think this time I'm going to give this like 10 or 15. I really want it to work because this toilet is just an absolute mess. Up on the ridge at the top right now, you can see where, let's tilt this a little bit. See over there? All of that's starting to come off. And I only used half a bottle. Normally I said I would use a whole bottle, but this, I was only able to get, uh, I covered everything in half a bottle. I'll probably end up doing this again in another day and finish off the whatever needs to be finished. So that is all lime, all calcium. That is, that's what that is. Uh, Los Angeles water, calcium, lime, and a lot of other junk. Probably not flushed that much and everything's dried on the 
uh, porcelain or whatever this thing is, and we'll be back. People, it's been 10 minutes. I gotta tell you, this place stinks, and it's all the sewer line. I'm gonna shoot out the rest of the container, because I really don't like keeping half open containers of stuff like this. Even if I put it outside, I've got more of this. I'll try another product next time. Um, I still have about a quarter of the container left, which is absolutely remarkable. So I'm going to use this and try to uh, shoot this jive, this stuff, in. And then I'll just let it soak in the bottom where it really needs it. I'm, I'm literally wasting the rest of it now because I just want to get it done. I can see the toilet is already looking really white and beautiful. It looks absolutely remarkable. So I have no doubt this is doing what it needs to do. Now you see the slimes coming off over there now? See how it's just pouring off? So I'm just going to finish this off, close the container, get this in the trash. And I'll be back in, I want to, I want to keep this in for a whole half hour, at least 20 minutes to half an hour, but you can already see a couple dollars for this stuff and absolutely remarkable. Okay people, this room absolutely stinks. Probably sore, probably the cleaner. It is bad. Look at that, that's pretty darn incredible. Oops, that is pretty darn incredible. I'm amazed, well I'm not amazed because I've done this before, but I'm amazed. Okay, so let's try to turn this around a little bit. Hee, what do I want to do? I'm looking for a toilet brush. Let's get a toilet brush over here. I would say, look at that, it's all coming off. Is that remarkable? Right over there where the, uh, the slime was, I'm going under the the rim right now. I'm looking under the rim to see. There's still some, okay, so there is definitely dirt under the rim. The brush has taken it off, but the brush can only get in so far. Now we see all this gunk that's over here that's kind of coming off. I'm going to get in the, in the bottom. That's where the problem is really bad. And I don't know, if, hopefully it took this off, but I don't know if it, if it was able to. not look good over there. But the thing is, this, these, uh, these cleaners are so remarkable that if you need to, you just go back in and do it again. So I think this video has proven its point. Probably going to add uh, 5,000 ads if you watch this and you had your ad blocker on. So watch it again and turn your ad blocker off. That's where the problem is. looks absolutely terrible in that area and you really do not want to put your hands on this thing until yeah that part's really bad this this whole toilet was like this an hour ago so you don't want to get your hands in there until you know this has been flushed out a couple times the water looks pretty clear now So I'm going to go in the, under the rim right now. Can I say that on YouTube that I'm going under the rim? I see a little bit of dirt. Nobody would ever see if they weren't on their knees with a sponge trying to clean this gunk out. I really don't care. I only want to get enough of it so it doesn't look terrible that it's presentable. This is really caked on here. Boy, is this stuff caked on. It just goes to show you how bad this toilet was before. But this stuff is still on here after soaking for over half an hour. And I got so much done that I'm sure 
I got bottles of this stuff. I'll go finish this off tomorrow. But I'll uh, edit the video and post it. Um, this is really bad. It's really bad. But the rest of the toilet, 99%, 95% of the toilet, looks remarkable. It's just this area down here. It's just taped on, so I'm not going to shut off the camera and get my dirty hands on there. I'm going to try to scrape off as much of this as I can. Be really careful. Don't use a pumice stone. It damages your finish and literally destroys it. And then you will have growth everywhere that you scratched it with the pumice stone. So a lot of this is just breaking off now, but this is... This is a uh, calcium deposit. This is, that's what this is. And I don't want to spend hours using this when I can let the chemicals do what I need to do. Alright, I think that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Um, this was Lysol Advanced. Check out my channel. I've done a, this room just stinks. I'm not going to come in here. I've got to let it air out for hours. I'm not going to let the dog come in here. There's no window. It just really stinks. Um, the last time I think I used the works and the works, I can't be sure, but the works probably would have removed this. I found the works to be much better than Lysol, and I found um, Lime Away Toilet Bowl Cleaner was at least as good as the works, if not a little bit better. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this thing. This is absolutely nasty. This will probably need another couple times just to break this loose. This is hardcore stuck to the toilet. And this is just not going to break off no matter how much I scrub it. It's not coming off. Thanks for watching.
people, it's going to be a continuation video or a new video. This toilet was completely brown, filled with calcium and lime deposits. The yellowish is usually calcium, the yellowish white is calcium, and the brown or red is rust and uh, I guess calcium. Calcium and lime, white is lime, calcium, so it's got nothing to do with hygiene or your toilet. It just has to do with um, Water, water gets the bacteria from the water, or the, the water, the lime, the calcium uh, gets on the toilet bowl and it gets dried out by the air and then you get this really bad scaly stuff. So I just did a, like a 15 minute video on using the Lysol Advanced Power Toilet Bowl Cleaner, which I've used, I've done other videos, check out my channel. Calcium, the CLR does really well, the Lime Away does okay um, works does really well but I had the Lysol stuff on here for about 20 minutes maybe half an hour and we still have this massive growth of rust uh, really was thick. I would say this is mostly calcium this is kind of brown and not really the whitest stuff we had before it's all the way down into the toilet uh, drain down there and I looked online to see other ways to clean this and they said put vinegar in or maybe vinegar and lemon. I don't want to mess with that stuff. I don't want to put lemon in the toilet. Um, I don't want to put vinegar in there. I did that before and it didn't really do anything years ago. Um, also suggested, uh, what did it suggest? It suge suggested WD-40. One person did it and said it was wonderful and it worked. The other person did it and said it didn't work at all. So, um, the Lysol stuff and having the sewer line open, this room smelled for about an hour and a half. I've got the windows open, I've got a fan going to air this place out for the night. Um, but using the works, the Lysol stuff is, it's just unbelievably smelly and it's nasty. So I've got an old can of WD-40. This can's probably, where is it? Where's the camera? This can is probably like 25 years old. I don't even know if there's WD-40 in there. They say spray it in the toilet, wipe it, but don't flush it down because it's really bad for the pipes and the sewer line and I don't care. I want to see if this is going to work. The neat thing is they say you can put it on there for about one or two minutes. Wipe it off and it should just dissolve this stuff. Now I've got a whole bunch of... The can's almost empty. i got a whole bunch of buildup way down in the pipe down there. The problem with WD-40, for anybody that's used it, is it sticks. I want to finish this can off. This can's like 25, 30 years old. Let's just get this stuff and throw it in the garbage. So let's see if this even works. It's set wait about one or two minutes. You'll see that it just will dissolve this stuff. I'm looking in the drain down there. Oh boy, WD-40 just reeks. It really stinks. It's a great product, but man, does this place smell. <laughs> Between the sewer line of a toilet and WD-40. Yikes, 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 yikes. Um, now it's supposed to just break down. This stuff is supposed to cr crumble, just dissolve. I don't really want to put a brush in there because I don't want it splattering in my face. I don't have gloves. What I want to do, I get a little piece of toilet paper. I'm going to move this around and see what it does. Does it do anything? Not really. I know it's only been in there about 30 seconds. And the problem is, if this doesn't work, I've got to flush the toilet. I've got to flush the toilet again. I've got to flush the toilet again. And if I want to clean this thing with another product, I've got to get out the, uh, the Pyrex and the sponge. And the sponge is falling apart, as you can see over here. And, but we're going to find out, does WD-40 do anything? Now, that's why YouTube is really tricky. Because some people, you know, most of the videos that I've watched, their toilet is almost 95% spotless. And they spray it in there and they go, oh, look, it worked. It's wonderful. Give me 10, 100,000 views and thumbs up. And yeah, and it's not true. So this toilet is in big trouble. And what you're seeing down in the drain is what this whole thing looked like about an hour and a half ago. So, I can see down on the bottom of the drain, it's, um, 
There's a lot of stuff that's dissolved, but that just could be the dirt of the WD-40 and removing some of the slime. Let's just finish this can off. I don't think it's working. Does WD-40 work to clean your toilet? Probably not. All those other videos where they got millions of views and they became famous, that's not going to happen to me because nobody watches my videos. But, um... And then some of the other videos, they say, oh yeah, it works, but you got to use a lot of muscle. Well, this is a chemical thing, and if you use the works, or Lysol didn't do what, uh, you see what Lysol left over. The works CLR will probably take this stuff off in a short amount of time. Um, so I don't want to use WD-40 and then scrub. And the other video said use a pumice stone. Don't use a pumice stone, it damages your toilet finish and you will never be able to stop this stuff from growing because the, the coating, the finish is gone and the damage will grow on the area that's not protected, even worse than it is now. Okay, so this has been in there a couple minutes. I'm not going to wait 10-15 minutes. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, what can you say? I'll plot. What can you say? So, it's been in there for a while. Let's flush it down. Um, I don't want to spend the whole night. I don't want this place to stink of more WD-40. And don't tell me that WD-40 after 30 years is it broke down in the can. Come on now. Is it going to work? Let's flush it. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Let me get my little brush that I've got in the bathtub. We got the WD-40 floating on the toilet right now. Let's see if anything breaks loose. That's what I want to see. Are we going to have little pieces that broke loose? Did it do anything? Did it do something? Did it do nothing? I think it did something. I definitely think it did something. I'd have to look at the uh, before and after video, but I think it did something. It didn't do 100%. This place stinks of WD-40 really bad. Let's get the sponge in here. So I can get food. It smells like a garage in here. It smells like I'm a mechanic and I'm uh, lubing your car. I'm lubing your chassis. Let's see. Okay, there's the, uh, there's the muscle over there. And I shouldn't have to do this if it works. If it works, then it will just... If a chemical works, it, it works, and you don't have to go through all of this. Did it work? Very mildly. It did not... It, I'll say it removed some of this. Maybe if it's soaked for an hour. If this stuff soaked for an hour, man, your, your car, people would think that you were a mechanic. Yeah. Um... I'll keep the video on for a few more minutes so that I can get my eight minutes of ads in here. But, yeah, I'm scrubbing over there right now. This should come off. If you saw how much I poured in there. It, I'm not going to say that it didn't work, because it did something. It just did not remove most of it. And, see, the problem is now, now that it's removed what it did, that's it. This is not going to break down anymore. And now I'm going to have to go in. Lysol was a failure. Well, Lysol, okay, I'll give him credit. It cleaned most of the toilet, but it did not do this part. Lysol did most. But you don't buy a product to end up with a toilet looking like this. And the WD-40, if it worked, if it dissolved this stuff, it would have just dissolved it. So you're going to have people that are going to say, it needs... It needs to soak for half an hour, or it needs to soak for 32 minutes, or you didn't use do it right, or you need to use this kind of sponge. No, 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 no. No can do. Um, you got to use more muscle. You got to let. You should have used the vinegar. Um, I'm not happy with this, and I guarantee you, I don't have the CLR in here. I don't know if I've got it outside. Um, if I don't have it outside when I check tomorrow, I'll go buy a bottle of CLR. I think I've got a bottle of works outside if I don't. I'm just not happy with the Lysol Advance. It just, it's failed me over and over again over the years. I'm just trying to finish it up. 
They sell it at Costco, and I bought a case of it, and once it's done, I'm not going to buy it anymore. Um, WD-40, does it clean your toilet? Look at the amount of, of what I'm going through. And I don't want to scratch the toilet. I don't want to damage it, but I don't want to have to put my hands down the drain and scrub this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to have to do that to clean my toilet. Um, yeah, so this is a total, I was going to say it's a total failure. It's not a total failure. It's a failure. It is a definite failure. Um, I'm going to, and now I've got all this oily stuff, and like they say, don't put this down the drain really bad on the pipes, bad on the septic system, bad on the, bad on everything. Probably bad for the fishies. Looking down the drain, down the drain where it's soaked, way down there, not that bad. But, you yeah, know, this is, this stuff is just stuck to the toilet. You need to break it down. It's a, you, you got to break down the calcium and lime. And, yeah, this place reeks of, uh, of like, the WD-40 oil, this, uh, the oil smell, we all know what that's like. Um, I've got too much toilet water on my hands, under my nails, in the bathtub, on the floor. Um, oh my god. i got to end this video, people. This is not acceptable. You can't have a toilet like that. You can't spend two and a half hours messing with Lysol, toilet bowl cleaner, advanced power and then going in here with this WD-40 and ending up with this. This is a nightmare. So uh, that concludes the video. And I think what I'm going to do is I will uh, post the Lysol video, I will post this video, and then I will post both of them in one video. And I'm not going to post it now because I want to go and buy some CLR and see if we can find a product that is going to clean a toilet. Well, video on cleaning the toilet. This is either a new video or a continuation of last night's video where I used Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. And 99% of this toilet was scaled. And the Lysol did take care of it. And then I went in there and what the heck, I used uh, the Lysol to toilet bowl cleaner and then I used... Um, and then I decided that today I'm going to either use the works, which I just happen to have an extra container outside or a partial container. And I also have the, I think I've got Lime Away. I wanted to try the works or Lime Away, which I've done videos on before, or CLR. I don't remember what the results were of the CLR test from a couple years ago. Um, but I've got the lime away, and I, I'm pretty sure that's going to take care of this. This, when you have the white, getting water all over the floor, when you have the white scale, which I had, you were dealing with lime and calcium deposits, really lime. When you have the, the brown and the rust, I believe it's calcium. Um, so lime or calcium, this whole toilet yesterday was green and white and brownish and it's all it all happens when you get the, uh, the bacteria in the toilet and the water dries out and the uh, I guess I'm not a scientist but I, I think something happens you get a chemical reaction from everything being dry and the calcium starts to grow Okay, so the other thing I used yesterday, and I can smell it right now, I couldn't remember it, but I can smell it, whew, is I used WD-40. And um, there were some videos that said WD-40 worked, and that's why you got to be really careful on YouTube, because lots of people make videos and they have no idea what they're talking about, they just want views. And the channels that were doing the WD-40 didn't really have a dirty toilet, the toilet was hardly... Uh, scaled at all, so it makes it very easy to do a video to get a zillion views and make a lot of money off of your uh, your viewers. 
And they said, oh, look at that. The WD-40 works really good. Well, it didn't work really good because there was nothing for it to work on. And there were a couple of videos that showed it really doesn't do anything at all. It did remove, it did break down some of the scale. This sponge has just fallen apart, as you can see. The WD-40 did dissolve some of the buildup, but it, it did not remove this. So what you're looking at now is the remainder of a half an hour soaking with the Lysol toilet bowl cleaner and the WD-40. Now, when I'm using a product, I don't want to use muscle. Definitely don't use the pumice stone that everyone says to use. You'll ruin your toilet. And yes, you will ruin your toilet. And once you scratch that area, the stuff will grow and you can never stop it. It will grow anyway, but once you scratch the coating, the finish, um, you have no protection at all. I don't want to use pumice stone. I don't want to use muscle power. I used a little bit of muscle power on this thing with the WD-40. It did absolutely nothing. You do need to drain your toilet, even though some of these people will say you don't have to. The water dilutes it way too much, and with something like this, if you put your chemicals in here, unless you're going to be pouring gallons of it in here like you do in a swimming pool, but the problem is with these new toilets, the minute you put liquid in the toilet, it goes down the drain. So, you need to have this dry. Again, when you do this, you are opening up your sewer line to allow gases to enter into the house. It's very stinky, it's not safe, it's kind of dangerous to be breathing these fumes. You should be wearing a facial mask like I am not, so this doesn't splash into your mouth and get, get you sick for a couple days. Um, wash your hands before you mess with uh, touching your, your face, or your mouth, or your body, or anything really. You just want to have your hands clean. And I'm going to go do that now. I'm going to wash my hands so I don't uh, contaminate the camera, and then I'll be back. That's what we're looking at with the toilet. It is all dried garbage. It's all rust and calcium and lime. You can hear some of the water bubbling up from the sewer line over there. Um, got the container. What do I have here? I don't even know what I've got. Okay, I got this leftover container of lime away. That's what we're going to be doing. The lime away doesn't work to clean a toilet. Um, you can. I used the Lysol toilet bowl cleaner yesterday, and this place smelled so bad. I had to put a fan in here and open up the window, and this is a much thicker gel. I don't really think I need to use too much more. I could use it, so right now I'm probably going to get about three cleans out of this container. Not too bad. These are dangerous chemicals. They can burn your hands, they can burn your skin, they can destroy your vision and your lungs and everything else. So, I don't have a window in this room. Put your fan on, ventilate after you're done. Don't stand in the room after you put the stuff in here. Um, I'm going to let it soak for about 15 minutes. And then um, after you're done, you don't want to stay in the house. Put on a fan, get the window open, get air circulating through this place for a while. 
So my goal is I'll come back in 15 and I want this to be completely gone. I don't want to, if it's a tiny bit there, that's fine. If more than about 5% is there, then the lime away did not do what I wanted it to do. I can definitely tell you the Lysol cleaner works. It did clean the toilet. It doesn't work as much as I would like. The WD-40 does not work hardly at all. And I have used the works before, and even though it's supposed to be the close to the same thing as Lysol cleaner, I think the works does a much better job than the Lysol cleaner. I'm going to come back in 15 minutes. We'll finish off the video. We'll flush it. Then I'll do a little bit of cleaning with the sponge and we'll see what it does. I should probably give this more than 10 minutes. This place stinks, just like when I used the, uh, the Lysol cleaner. I don't know if it's the sewer or if it's just the chemicals that they put in the stuff working. This place just reeks. 10 minutes, I should probably give it 15 to half an hour. I wanna see what this is gonna do. I'm really pushing the Lime Away product. We'll flush it. We'll see if it broke down this stuff or not. I don't know, it's not looking too promising, but it could be soft and broken up a little bit. If you like my videos, thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. Donations accepted in the video description. Affiliate links in there for all of this stuff. Uh, let's zoom on in. And I'm gonna get the brush. I don't wanna really put my hand in there until I flush this a couple more times. Did it break? Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It broke most of it up within 10 minutes. It's just coming off the toiletto, the toilelato. This is just incredible. Okay, so I can tell you right off that Lime Away Toilet Bowl Cleaner is much more effective than Lysol Toilet Bowl Cleaner. Much more effective. I, it's still breaking some of this stuff up, so I have a feeling that if I put this in for half an hour, we might have removed all of this without any of this brushing. It's coming off. Unbelievable. Um, I've got two more bottles of Lysol cleaner. It did clean the toilet, I will say that. It just did not break this stuff up. I was going to say I was going to throw it out, but I'll keep it and use it. Just not for the hardcore stuff. So if you're watching this video, I can tell you right now, WD-40 didn't work. Um, I wish I could have tested the works in this video to see what happens, but I can't. But we'll flush this one more time, and then we'll get in here right now and see what happens. This is going to break loose. This is some hardcore stuff. This toilet was not cleaned like this for months, and this is major buildup. Um, I have a feeling, okay, so it's not all going to come off. I have a feeling that putting on... Well, you know, I was going to say putting on the uh, on the lime away for a half an hour probably would have done some major good, but this is going to allow me to finish off my test. I am going to use the works on this now because this did not come off. We still have some, we, we definitely still have some uh, stuff on there. So let's get it all off. Let's just get rid of it. Let's try the works. If the works doesn't take this off, then we know that Lime Away is better than the works. Why am I doing this with the sponge? If the works doesn't take this off, then we know that Lime Away is better than the works and the Lysol. So this is going to be a really good test. I'm getting sick of draining the water out of this toilet. I'm just tired of this thing. I'm doing this for my fans. I'm doing this for all you people out there that are going to say, thanks for doing this for me, and you're not going to click on the donation link and leave me $5,000, even though most of you could afford it. Um, you just say, hey, thanks. You talked too long. The video could have been two minutes. It's really funny when I make videos and people tell me how long they should be. Or they go in there and they say, save you people a lot of time. The real part starts at 3 minutes and 10 seconds, and then I block them, and I delete the message. So, Alright, this is, uh, I wish it would have removed it, but 
I'm not that unhappy because this is going to allow me to test the works and see what it does. The works doesn't have to do a lot of the works because there's hardly anything left to work on. There's a lot of gunk up here that needs to be cleaned, but that doesn't need a real good cleaner to work. Let's get this done. Somebody's supposed to be coming over soon. We're going to have lunch. They'll say, so what do you do today? And I'll, I cleaned the toilet five times. It was still dirty. All right, people, I'm going to cut the video right now. I'll come back when I pour the works in here. say that Lime Away probably would have removed all of this if I had kept it on for about half an hour, maybe even an hour. It probably would have broke, it broke down most of it. But I'm looking for something that's just going to go in there and break this stuff down. Um, there's very little left. This stuff is not exactly thick anymore. It's had so many different cleaning products on it. So I was hoping that Lime Away it was just going to go right in there and clean this thing up. And it did good, but I know everyone's going to say I didn't give it a fair enough chance because I didn't keep it on long enough. And maybe, maybe. But it's my video and I'm doing it the way I want to. Get all that water out of there. I'm going to wash my hands over here so I don't have to turn on the sink. <laughs> Okay, people, we have used Lysol toilet bowl cleaner, cleaned about 90% of the toilet, didn't get rid of all that gunk on the bottom, used WD-40, did not get rid of all the, got rid of maybe 5% of it. Just used uh, Lime Away, and maybe it broke down about 50% after 10 minutes. But we're going to use the Works now, the Works Classic Clean, we're going to see if the works takes this off in 10 minutes, then this is the cleaner to be using. Why is it all watery? This stuff's probably really old. Because I think these cleaners are supposed to be like a gel. And I've had this outside for a long, long time. And there's no gel coming out of here, so this is very old. This might not do anything. Maybe it's completely broken down. Let's just put the whole bottle in there because I think it's way too old. We'll get rid of it. What I wish is there was a way to plug these toilets up, the newer toilets, so that things didn't drain down and make it could soak a little better. But as you can see, it's all trying to go down the drain. Um, if you like my videos, do a thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment. This is testing out a lot of different cleaners, so this is going to be a really good test. 
and that is it. Don't mix these cleaners. Don't stay in the room after you put them in there. Ventilate the room. Get a fan on after you're done. Get get air into the house. Get this stuff is not good for your body. No matter what they say, this is not good for your system. If you got a window, open it up. I'm going to come back in 10 minutes. You're going to see what that does. I think if it does anything, it's going to work on the bottom because it's going to be soaking in there. But I don't know what it's going to do with this edge over here because it isn't soaking. It's been about 17 minutes. I am just tired of cleaning toilets. Uh, as I said, the works, this is usually a gel, I believe. It came out as a liquid, so I don't know if it's too old or if it is supposed to be a liquid. Um, on the bottom, I think it's really going to do good because it's been soaking in there. The other stuff probably dried out. Um, we'll find out which one. If, if this takes it all off, then the works is the way to go. If this doesn't take it all off, then I would say the lime away is the way to go. The Lysol cleaner is definitely not better than either of them. And be careful if you use a brush. You don't want this stuff splattering like a brush tends to do. Yep, like it just did. I'm going to flush it. See what this does. I can tell it's already taking some stuff off right now. I'm not going to put my hands in there because it is not completely diluted and gone. Um, if this removes all of it, which I don't know that it's going to do, then the works is the winner. But I'm not really sure yet. I can't tell. It is removing, but I don't know how much it's removing. I've spent well over an hour on this video for everybody. Please compensate me with a donation. I want a donation. Somebody out there has got to be a millionaire. Help me out. Clean in the bathtub while we're waiting for the toilet to fill up. And then we're going to get in there with a sponge. And we're going to clean this thing out. I was just flushing out of my way for it to fill up. What did it do? Did it take it all off? This is some really hardcore stuff that's on here. Um, let's go down to the bottom where the works was soaking. That is the, a good test. As the sponge falls apart, took it all off. Oh, did it take it all off? It's soaked in there, so um, and as I said, it didn't come out as a gel, so the works is the winner. The works is definitely the winner. If you have a way to keep the stuff soaking in there for over an hour, I'd say all of these would probably work. And I think I'm going to end the video.